Over the years, technology is rapidly changing. One of the most significant dates in technology is 1976, the arrival of the computer. Right now, there are approximately 1,319,872,109 people using the internet. Could you imagine living in a world without technology? Ever since this invention, social media sites have also expanded in popularity, which the new generation now revolves around. Is it noticeable that we are becoming socially awkward? Do we have a preference to live in such a futuristic atmosphere? The question is, are we becoming too reliant on technology? We asked a selection of the public a variety of questions about the progression of technology. Work. Google. iPad. Phones. Computers. Yeah, computers. It's all new technology, it is to me. Computers, computers, computers. Tablets, televisions. It has pros and cons, I think, and it all depends on how people abuse it. Like people rely on it, don't they, nowadays? It's too much, it should be stopped. Very interesting indeed. I think it's very good actually, but for me, it's no use for me. Good things and bad things, very mixed. It's essential in all walks of life, and perhaps we are uh, becoming too reliant on it. It's getting too important, yeah. No. It is um, important. It is because now children don't socialise, they're just on their phone. No, no, no. Not worried. It is important, but I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Um, it's, it's important that certain safeguards are in place. Well, sometimes if I'm sitting there and I need to say something to someone, I'll, I'll just text them, like, even if they're like five foot away from me. Yes. Yeah, because I'm always on my computer. I don't talk to anyone. Oof. I haven't, no, but I know lots of people who have. Initially, I would say yes, uh, because of my generation. It hasn't taken over yet, but if they're not careful, it will. Yeah, everyone's got it, haven't they? Everyone's on like, Twitter and Facebook, and not they? Yeah, he's sort taking of. over. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, it's taking over indeed, man. I do think so, yeah. Yes, students can't live without their phones. I think potentially it could take over if we allow it to. Like, if I didn't have the technology, I wouldn't have the job. No, I didn't have really opinion on that because, to be honest, I didn't at first understand it. In some ways, yeah. Um, because you, you sort of meet up with friends more often, but in other ways it's, it's a good thing. No, because I wouldn't need a job. Not anymore, no. no. How would I call my mum? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, not anymore. Not now, no. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's an essential part of our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because everything now works with technology in the households. Yeah, very definitely, yeah. I think so. Yeah, definitely. The uh, reliant factor is, is up to us. We can, we can use it as a, as a tool rather than uh, a crutch. It helps and it hinders. Yeah, because we wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have technology. Yeah, he's helping yeah. us. Yeah, he's... Yeah, yeah. Like everything iPhone. It's easier. Everything's easier. I think it's helping a lot of people. Yeah, I think it's helping us, yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Here are some shocking technology facts. On eBay, there are an average of £600 worth of transactions each second. The average 21-year-old has spent 5,000 hours playing video games, has exchanged 250,000 emails, and has spent 10,000 hours on their mobile phone. Since 2008, video games have outsold movie DVDs. The first public mobile phone call was made on April 3rd, 1973. We spoke to Simon Bustry, the manager of technology shop Curry's, to see how the progression of technology has affected his shop. Uh, yes. It's allowed it, uh, the business to be much more dynamic, much more uh, now in terms of being able to get, get the, the products on the shelves in a, in a quicker response time, identify trends quicker and at the end of the day give a better experience to the customer. We are living in an era where technology is vastly improving gadgets, communications and pretty much every single thing we use today. 
One of the first popular technological pieces of equipment invented was as far back as 1833, which was the sewing machine. In 1895, the radio was invented. Between this date and 1910, several radio transmissions were being tested by different people. 1927, the TV was invented and then progressed into colour. In 1976, the computer was invented. In 1995, the gaming period began, starting with the PS1. The MP3 player was also invented. In 1997, the DVD player was invented. This was when the viewing experience changed from VCR to the new generation of DVD. 1998 saw the launch of Google. In 1999, the first smartphone was invented, which was the Blackberry. In 2001 was the launch of Wikipedia. The first iPod was made. In 2003, iTunes and MySpace were created. In 2005, YouTube and another gaming creation, which was the Xbox, was invented. In 2006, Nintendo Wii and Blu-ray was invented. In 2007, the first iPhone was invented. There's a new one every year to date. In 2010, touchscreen TV and iPad became the hype of that year. In 2011, the 3D TV was invented. In 2012, 3G became something more and was... Overall, we discovered that the public showed different views on whether or not we're becoming too reliant on technology. Our research shows that people cannot see the future without it. Is this a good or bad thing that people cannot see a future without becoming too reliant on technology? In my personal view, I think that it's becoming bad because we're becoming socially awkward and unable to socialise with one another. I think that is a good thing that we rely on technology because as we grow as a generation we modify. If we didn't have technology as we did today then we'd be struggling. In my opinion, I think that it's a bad thing that we've become so reliant on technology because I feel like we allow it to control us.